And while books are becoming TV shows, CDs, they're becoming extinct. Streaming is killing off the 20th century invention, but there can still be some value in the land of lost formats. How to turn compact discs into fat stacks on The Breakdown. If making money is music to your ears, those old CDs could play you some sweet songs. With downloads and streaming, the CD era might be dead, but that doesn't mean some CDs aren't still valuable. Mike Esposito, owner of the InGroove Record Store, shows us why CDs made during the 1980s could be worth money. First, look for early Target CDs. Early CDs are called Target CDs, and that nickname comes from the fact that they have a Target design on the front of the CD. So it's a bullseye, basically. Kind of looks like, yeah, a shooting Target. These early CDs were only made in West Germany and Japan at the time. And what makes this so valuable? CDs weren't mass produced yet, so there was a lot fewer of them. So these were still relatively rare, and they're pretty heavily collected. So how valuable would, would say, the CD be? You know, that particular CD is probably $15, but some Targets reach over $1,000. And while you're searching through your collection, look for the next CD style worth money, the audiophile CD. These were CDs that were generally made using the original analog master tape, converted with care. Also, the discs a lot of times were done with a 24 karat gold disc. While the disc is made of plastic, a super thin 24 karat gold foil is the reflective layer that the music is recorded on instead of the standard aluminum. Look for gold CDs made by DCC, Mobile Fidelity, and Audio Fidelity. And I would imagine that an audiophile CD would be worth more money today. A lot of audiophile CDs are typically in the 25 to three, $400 range. The final CD to look for is the private label release. A lot of artists, when they were getting going and they were trying to establish themselves as an artist, they were selling their own product, making their own CDs. A lot of those are actually quite valuable now after they made it big. These CDs were usually sold at bars or clubs by the artists directly to the customer during or after their performances or even the people on the street. I did it in New York. Hey man, it's $5, bro. I'm gonna be a star, man, come on. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> Find out the five most valuable throwback albums at our List TV Facebook page. Trading your CDs for C-Notes on The Breakdown.